Hi, glad you found me. My name is Brad Lynch, um, RMLO number 206799. Work with Premier Nationwide Lending, 2001 Lakeside Parkway, Flower Mound, Texas, 75028. I'm a certified licensed, uh, certified divorce licensed professional through the Divorce Lending Association. I've got 13 years of, of lending experience and um, I've been doing the divorce specialties uh, for a little over eight years. Um, in this, in this post, I want to talk about the um, when you're buying out a spouse in a divorce for the equity in your home, um, why it may be better to use a rate and term ulti refinance versus using your 401k. Um, uh, many, many times, uh, I think some attorneys may not have, you know, they've probably learned it at some point, but um, they didn't use it enough to be fluid with it. So many times rather than using this ulti refinance, uh, the path of least resistance is to go in and say, hey, if you have the 401k money, um, you can you can cash part of that out with the penalty or you can get a loan against it. And um, I think that uh, if, uh, if everyone was well versed in, in the industry, um, we would see more of the ulti used uh, because I use it a lot and my clients are usually very excited about the fact that they can do that versus their 401k. Um, uh, again, um, the path of least resistance is, is the fact that if you are paying fees to an attorney uh, and, 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 you're, and you're paying an hourly rate that, that is expensive and it's just the way it is in, in, in working in law, um, um, if you sit down with them, you find out that you have the equity and you just decide right then you do the 401k, um, then that's it. There's no extra talks. It's cheaper. It's easier for them. It's one appointment. Um, I say one appointment, I'm sure there's more, but uh, you get the point. If you're going to go this ulti uh, refinance route, which is just a, just taking your current, in, uh, whether you have a loan on the property or not, if you don't, you don't, you're just refinancing and just paying off the spouse with your mortgage. If, if you have a loan on the property, you take the, the first lien, you add the amount that you're supposed to buy out your spouse leaving the house, buy out her portion of the equity, add that to that, refinance, refinance it all together and you go. Well. The different, the extra variable is qualify, qualifying. Um, some attorneys may, to avoid having to charge you uh, extra fees to come back because they know you're trying to save money or everything else, they take the path of least, least resistance, which is just do the 401k and know, know that they have. But if, you, uh, if you're going to go the ulti, there's an extra step, and that's making sure that you qualify for a refinance. And you're doing that for two reasons. For yourself, number one, you're going to put it in a decree. You want to make sure and pay it off, and you're trying to cut ties and be done so that uh, the divorce is in the, in the rearview mirror completely. Uh, secondly is lots of times the believing spouse, they want to know that, that they're going to get their money. In a 401k, they know how much is in there. They know you can get it out, and um, it's a done deal. If you're going to refinance, they may want to see that you also pre-qualify because they don't want terms in a, in a decree that you can't meet. So that can be an extra step. The attorney meets with you, you all decide how much equity it is, and now you've got to go out and pre-approve. Well, if you contact me first or another lender that uh, specializes in this, and I do it all uh, everywhere in Texas, um, um, you can show up with your attorney and say, hey, I know I pre-qualify for this. This is the idea I want to do. Um, I've done some homework. You know, obviously, the taking a penalty on your 401k is huge, and you're just going to give up a ton of cash right off the bat just to just to cash it out. The other option is borrowing against it. And um, I was looking at uh, a venture uh, investment venture one time, and just kind of inquired about uh, using borrowing against my 401k. It seemed like the interest rate was a little over five percent, which right now the uh, mortgage industry, uh, you know, I think rates are lower, quite a bit lower than that. So you get a better uh, a better interest rate, I think. Um, secondly, most for, most 401k loans aren't going to give you a, a 20, 30 year option if you want the lower payment. So if you if you you know borrow against your 401k, which is probably going to be um, debited out of your monthly um, pay stubs uh, every day uh, every month, um, your payment's probably going to be higher because it may be a five, ten, or fifteen year note. Whereas on your mortgage, you can extend it out. And if you want to pay it off early, you can, but you also have that option of a lower payment. Um, in the end, um, I don't know about you, but I've always been taught, don't touch my savings, don't touch my 401k. Um, you kind of become callous to it. You know, you, you can go 10 years, 20 years to, uh, not touching that. And then one time that you touch it, um, you've kind of brought down your guard a little bit. And the next time that you have something come up, uh, you know, you may be more willing to touch it again. And that's supposed to be an 
an egg that you have set off um, for when you retire. So uh, I'm not I'm not for using the 401k to pay that off if you don't have to. I think that would be Plan B. Uh, plan A is to do a rate term refinance, uh, set up an OLT, which is not expensive, um, so forth. So if you have more questions, f please feel free to call me. I'm going to put my contact information down here at the screen. My office number is 972-537-0665. My cell number is 469-450-2723. Um, and uh, I have plenty of other stuff on the internet if you want to read my, my blog. It's uh, Your Mortgage Guy for Life, which I'll also put down here. Uh, if you go sc scroll down to the bottom of that site, there's a search uh, search engine specifically to my site that you can search uh, OLT refinance or divorce mortgage, whatever terms you're interested in. I've blogged and posted many times about it so you can get more details. The other option is you can go into my channel here in YouTube and, and look through those titles and see if there's something else that you want to learn about this process because uh, this is specifically about 401k versus the loan to buy out the, uh, the leaving spouse. But I've got all kinds of details about the actual type of loan, uh, how, how you go about the process, right? I need to create everything else. So go look through those. And um, it would help my business if you share it. If you think this is a helpful uh, video, please share it. Um, have nothing else. Uh, hope to meet you soon. Have a great day.